Breaking news, Minister of the Economy, Russia only receives about 40% of Armenia's exports. About 40% of Armenia's exports go to Russia, businesses are operating normally, there are no issues, and there is no line of Armenian trucks waiting to cross the Georgian-Russian border at the Upper Lars checkpoint. Armenian economy minister Bahan Karobian addressed potential issues in economic relations with Russia on Friday while speaking to reporters outside Yerevan City Hall. I want to remind that after June of last year, following the agreements between me and the Minister of Economic Development of Russia, many new routes have been opened at the Lars checkpoint, the processes of customs clearance have been simplified there, Karobian stated. The Armenian economy minister responded to reports of citizen dissatisfaction with the Upper Lars checkpoint by saying, there were issues for only two days, there, that problem is gone. Karobian guaranteed that the fuel situation is fine as well. There was some problem in connection with gasoline, but our first petition was partially approved, we are working with the partners, according to him. However, Vahan Karobian declined to comment on the cost of gasoline in Armenia, saying that it is up to the market, while warning that further trade imbalances with the world's second biggest economy would lead to expanded protectionism, the EU's top diplomat said trust with China had eroded over Beijing's stance on the war in Ukraine. Josep Borrell, a Spanish politician, made these comments to students at a university in Beijing on Friday maybe has not been using its strong influence to persuade Russia to halt this aggression, he said. He emphasized the importance of China's efforts to persuade the Ukrainian public that it is not Russia's ally in the conflict. I believe China should increase aid to Ukraine in the humanitarian sector. One of Brussels' biggest gripes with Beijing is highlighted by Burrell's remarks, namely, that China has provided diplomatic cover for Russian leader Vladimir Putin ever since Putin ordered the invasion at the beginning of last year. Putin's attendance at President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Forum in the coming days is seen as a reflection of the strong ties that exist between Moscow and Beijing. An arrest warrant for Putin was issued by the International Criminal Court in March due to allegations of war crimes committed in Ukraine. While in Beijing last month, the EU's top trade negotiator, Valdis Dombrovskis, criticized China for not condemning Russia's war. Dombrovskis said this was a blatant breach of Chinese principles on territorial integrity, representing some of the EU's harshest criticism of China on the issue. After Hamas's attack, the EU's top envoy will have tense talks in China. After having two visits to China this year cancelled, Burrell will be there for three days. One of the earliest signs that former Foreign Minister Qin Gang had been removed from office was when he tested positive for COVID-19, followed by China cancelling a meeting scheduled for July. On Friday, Burrell addressed China's growing trade surplus with Europe and urged the country to do something about it. During the epidemic, Europeans bought more of everything from protective gear to electronics so they could work from home more easily, driving up the surplus. More than doubling to $277 billion in 2022 from 2020 levels. With demand slowing, the number is shrinking in 2023, with September alone accounting for $17.6 billion. European public opinion concludes that the trade imbalance with China is so great that it endangers key sectors or a transition towards climate neutrality, he said. Also, he cautioned against the persistent difficulties experienced by European companies when they want to gain access to the Chinese market. In a survey released in June by the EU Chamber of Commerce in China, a record number of European companies reported that doing business in the Asian nation was becoming more difficult.